Marshal, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You'd think nothing happened at all. I don't need your jabber, boy. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why, but he seems determined to ignore me. You've got quite a young wife. Is there a big age gap between you? You're giving courage to men all across our fair nation. If a stony-faced gorilla like you can marry such a young, beautiful creature, there's hope for all of us yet, isn't there? But that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. Listen up. I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. A man is far more than just his looks. My wife understood that well. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. Just what is it? Hey! Oh, ma chérie, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in D.C. Ooh, I think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? Hey! Excuse me! She's Suki, not a mannequin! Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about you, man. <sighs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> I don't do autographs. I'm here on my private time. When did you become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? Progress cannot be stopped. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent, like fluttering petals. At any moment, new inspiration is going to just explode into my brain. Like... Ooh. Of... And... Ah... Uh, Vaughn... Ah, oh, Vaughn's God! Eureka! <laughs> yes. Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash. Now, say it with me. Oh, God. This will be my next theme.
Your mannequin, I mean, is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. Mm. Sue. Oh, you're so good. Oh, my Suki. Suki, you are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on living. This does look like the real Suki. Is it just what's going on here? So the name of the New Age is taken from the D of Duncan? No, not at all. This new cosmetic for application just below the nose has a special fragrance. I'll tell you, but please, discretion. It's a powerful pheromone used by a certain female insect. Such a powerful pheromone. The insect was worshipped in ancient Egypt at... Don't tell me. D is for dung beetle. The whole world will fall under the spell of the fragrance of D. Domestic flight. No large bags. The door looks fine. There's nothing here. The cherry blossoms and snow are switched. The cherry blossoms should be on the back. There's nothing here. When did you move to this seat?
win indeed. Young Mr. Young. So funny you would ask. What does that mean? If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. You of all people should understand. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. That lightning strike, how did you know about it before it even happened? Don't tell me you can control lightning strikes. Your ability to look is not bad, but you need to be able to observe a little more carefully. engine isn't damaged. You have good observational skills. You already know the answer. Am I correct? Do you know what happened to the courier? It might be said that I do, and it might be said that I don't. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. Either way, Mr. Young, you cannot ask me to do your job for you. What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean a Olivia Jones. You saw her. Did she remind you of little Peggy? <gasps> what do you know about little Peggy? Blonde, blue eyes and a mole by her eye. Did she smell of the same soap too? Just how much do you know? Everything you told me all of it yourself. Mr. Young, you're overlaying your memories of little Peggy onto Olivia, aren't you? Just who are you? It was a snowy night. 
I remember it very well. Is Amanda doing okay? Amanda? You know her too? Her well-being is a good thing. A good indication of your own well-being, Mr. Young. What's going on here? What have you done to me? Can you finally see them? These are things with a special meaning for you. What are you talking about? Catch them. If you can, you may discover something about her. Clover represent your of her. Don't let them slip away. What are you talking about? Mr. Young, I've placed a memory left by her in your house. That to you, Mr. Young. What's he talking about? Leaving something in my house, a memory with her. Over. Little Peggy? Could it be? Oh dear. Control will be an issue if I can't find it. 
Sir, can I help you with anything? Where's Olivia? Excuse me, sir. Exactly which Miss Olivia are you searching for? Olivia Jones. She's a member of the crew, just like you are. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't aboard this flight. Come on. Did that lightning strike you too? She was right here a moment ago. In any case, you need to contact Logan Airport immediately. Tell them we have an emergency up here. Also, get the BPD to send some cops to the airport. Detective Forrest Kazan in particular. Give him my name and you'll have no problems. Well, excuse me, sir. Are you hoping to use this confusion for something nefarious? If so, I'll have to stop you. Next Damn it. time, I'll break more than you watch. My most humble apologies, Mr. David Young. This incident has us all a little riled up, I'm sure. Huh? I'll make the call about the suspicious person immediately. To our destination, Ronald Reagan International Airport. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. What a beautiful sunset. It reminds me of the day I proposed. <laughs> Little Peggy. I'll find who killed you. I will. There's no one hiding in here. Where'd the courier go to? says Boston quite like this. There must be a baseball fan on board. It's for Boston versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Of course, it's been used. <laughs> Things don't come that easy. Oh, no. 
anymore. <laughs> My hands and feet are cramping up. What are you doing that for? You there. Perfect timing. I can't take it anymore. Take what? What is Deborah talking about? That lightning strike electrified the floor and handrails. So I'm doing my best not to touch them. <laughs> but I can't take it anymore. My arms, legs, neck, back, everything is screaming in pain. <laughs> I need to try and calm it down. Lightning striking an airplane. Crazy, huh? Doesn't this shaking feel odd to you? First, squeaking windows, and now seats and floor. I'm almost impressed by your capacity to worry about the mundane. Hold it! What was that about the windows? They were squeaking, right? Squeaking! The windows! You're saying the windows on this bucket squeak? What? Hmm. You're pulling my leg. If the windows were really squeaking, why, we'd all be dead by now. That lightning strike would have come in through the cracked window. We'd have smashed into the sea, its surface harder than concrete. It's like Dr. Johnson always says. Fall from an airplane, and you'll die. So just keep your fear-mongering to yourself. There certainly doesn't seem to be any counting in her notes. What's going on here, then? I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. Be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Marshall. Are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you The same uh, trick won't God work twice. Damn it. Uh, Although it's still the first uh, time for you. The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? The destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly! I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing. Something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rabbit.
I'm going to be killed? Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally, vanished. They didn't vanish at all. They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft heading for Washington. In other words, they didn't vanish. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. I don't feel anything from either one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? <laughs> it was just starting to grow out. Such a waste. Little Peggy. What should I do? 